So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, managing your notifications for Google Classroom. So I am sharing with you the screen of my Android phone. Um, if you have an Android, you get an awesome feature that is not available to Apple or even on the computer yet, although I'm hoping that very shortly Google will get around to adding these uh, this feature because it is very amazing. And it is a notifications screen in your Google Classroom app. So you can click on the three line, they call it a little hamburger uh, menu button here. And again, if you're just on Android, you will see, we have classes, calendar, you will see a notification um, button that will take you to all the notifications that you get within Google Classroom. So this is where you can see that your teacher has added a private comment and it will take you directly to that private comment. Um, it will allow you to see, uh, you know, if new assignments have been posted if you have notifications for that turned on. Um, and it just is a really easy way. You can also swipe, swipe left and it will just delete them. So, okay, I've seen this, I've seen this, I can get rid of it. And then I can click on anything from here and it will take me to, you know, that assignment in Google Classroom. So um, it's not found because I already did it in here. But um, this is an amazing feature that's only available at the time I'm making this video for Android, but hopefully it will be reaching other operating systems shortly. So if you don't have Android, or even if you do, you also want to go down here um, past where the classes you're enrolled in to your settings, um, because you really want to adjust some of the settings that you get for Google Classroom because it can be overwhelming. So if you don't have this notifications, you definitely want it to be able to send email notifications to you. Um, that way you can just kind of check your email and get notifications that way because otherwise you're just going to maybe get them popping up and then it's going to be sort of confusing. You only catch them when they happen, not later on. So you can choose which classes you get notifications for. So you can toggle them on or off. So say you have a class you don't really need notifications for, you can turn it off by specific class. Um, but where the real part of this is going to be getting into the device notifications. And so um, you really want to have notifications on. There's some that you want and some you don't. So you definitely want, um, if you're able to comment on the stream, which a lot of teachers turn that off because it can kind of get off topic or a little crazy. But if you are allowed to comment on the stream, so like as a part of an assignment, you can have uh, it notify you when someone comments on your post. Now, if you're checking your posts frequently, you probably don't need this turned on. But if it's just something that happens every once in a while, you might leave it on. Um, due date reminders for your work. So this would be very helpful if you had a class that had, you know, um, assignments that weren't due the same day every week. So um, last spring, all my assignments were due on Sunday night at midnight or right before midnight. Um, nobody would need a due date reminder for that necessarily, unless you totally forgot the entire week that you were supposed to do work and you needed a reminder for that. But you would get a lot of reminders at one time because all the assignments for the whole week were due that one day. You So I would probably, I would most, for me, I would personally just turn that one off since you're going to be checking all the time. You do want to leave on private comments on work because that is how teachers will notify you, say you had an error in something or your work wasn't done correctly and you needed to unsubmit and resubmit and do your work. Or if you had a question and your teacher responded to your answer or answered your question, then they would be able to leave you a private comment. Um, comments that mention you, this is for the stream. Um, you can uh, type in at and an email address. I think usually only teachers can at someone. Um, but if the teacher mentions you in a comment, like you ask a class comment and you ask a question in there and the teacher is responding to your answer, you could get a notification. Um, I would suggest definitely, definitely not turning on work and other posts from teachers. Since you are going to be in multiple Google Classrooms, you do not want a comment every time a teacher posts an assignment or an announcement in the stream because you will get so many emails every day. It would be absolutely overwhelming. You are going to be checking Google Classroom probably almost daily, so there's no need to go and check or get a notification that work has been posted when you're just going to be going there later probably anyways. Um, return work and grades. Again, I don't think you need to have this notification turned on or else you'll just be getting extra notifications you don't need. Um, in another video in this unit, I show you how to check your grades in Google Classroom. 
So you can just do that, you know, however often you'd like to know what your grades are. There's no need to necessarily get a notification every time something has been graded because it's just going to be giving you extra email notifications for something that you can check, you know, all at once instead of each individual grade. And you can leave on invitations to join classes. Um, sometimes instead of having you enter a join code, a teacher can send an email uh, invite to you. Um, you'll see that on your Google Classroom page. It will say join or decline. Uh, you don't really need a not notification for that, but you're most likely not going to be, you know, joining many classes throughout the year just there at the very beginning. So it would just be a couple of notifications perhaps at the beginning of the year um, that you might get and then you don't really have to worry about it for the rest of the year. So those are the notifications that I would suggest um, keeping on and managing. So um, again, definitely if you have an Android device, you definitely want to get the Google Classroom um, app just for the notifications feature alone because it just makes your life so much easier when trying to um, figure out what comments, private comments have been left or other things that you wanted notifications on. Okay, so that is all there is to know about notifications in Google Classroom.